Hi, I'm Dan Sullivan, uh, NUI Shannon candidate for these Shannon elections in 2007. I thought I'd use this opportunity to talk to you a little bit about why I decided to run and the issues that I've been trying to raise over the course of the campaign. Um, I'm a UL graduate and that was the primary reason why I decided to run last autumn when I realised that yet again the government had failed to introduce legislation to facilitate the Seventh Amendment to the Constitution passed by the Irish people in 1979 by a margin of 9 to 1. The purpose of this amendment was to allow graduates from UL and DCU and other colleges be extended voting rights for the six third level seats in the Shannon. The continuing failure to legislate for this is an indication, I believe, of the fact that the government really feels that where certain groups are concerned that issues can be left by the wayside because there simply aren't enough of them to affect a general election. That was the primary reason why I ran, but it's not the only issue I've been trying to raise during the course of this campaign. Obviously, the purpose in I'm running is for people to be able to vote for me to indicate their support for the issue of extending the franchise and also for other issues that I've been trying to raise. Another issue that I've been trying to get on everyone's agenda and to get people talking about is the introduction of nursing home type charges for disabled adults who are living in residential settings in our communities. This has been introduced by the HSE uh, somewhat on the sly uh, as part of the introduction of legislation to facilitate nursing home charges for the elderly who are staying in long-term care. I believe that these charges are completely unfair and unjustified. People with disabilities are by and large living on the disability allowance that they receive from the state which is currently 185 euros 80 cents. The HSE plans to recoup 90 euros, or almost half of that, from people with disabilities for living in these residential settings. People with disabilities have very different needs to the elderly. Unlike the elderly, they will never really have had the opportunity to build up assets or accrue savings during the course of their life, as their only source of income will have been this 185.80 per week. I would make the comparison with the situation with regard to those who are drawing unemployment, who are expected to be in that situation for a short-term period of time. They're in a position where they can avail of rent allowance to meet the extra expense of living independently on top of their 185.80 a week. It is sort of an unfair situation that someone who's going to be living long-term on that 185.80 a week will have 90 euros of that taken off them and then they would be trying to live on the 95 euros 80 cents per week whereas somebody who's going to be in that situation living on that income for a short term period of time is actually given additional help think about it for a minute 95 euros 80 cents to buy all of your clothing toiletries perhaps eat out once a fortnight go to the cinema buy a newspaper buy a magazine any of the day-to-day -day expenses that most of us have. Getting by in 90 or 100 euros a week might be something you could try and do while backpacking across Europe. But to live in it year in, year out, knowing that you'll never be able to accrue any savings, that you'll never be able to afford any large-scale items of your own, perhaps buy a, a music player to play some CDs, to buy a CD, to buy a video, to buy anything that would make life more enjoyable, is I think quite a harsh measure and displays the complete lack of understanding that there seems to be in the HSE and the Department of Health of the radically different needs between those with disabilities and the elderly. I'm not necessarily saying that I agree with the idea of nursing home charges for the elderly either, but I think that's a separate issue. What I'm trying to do is get this issue, this particular introduction, which affects about 10,000 Irish adults and in a sense is only going to recruit somewhere in the bones of 10 million euros a year. I think we could find that 10 million euros, 10 million euros from somewhere else. And I think there are certain situations where basic issues of understanding need to be expressed. And I would like to look for your support with regard to highlighting that issue.